Hey everyone, coming at you today to actually answer a question that's commonly asked by a lot of beginners or beginners' parents when they get their first drum set. And it's in regards to one piece of equipment on that drum set, and that is the hi-hat stand. More specifically, the hi-hat clutch. I'm holding an old Yamaha one here that is a screw-on, screw-off clutch. And I have a newer Gibraltar one here that is the quick-release clutch. Let's hop behind the kit and let's talk about it. Here I am back at a hi-hat stand. I have my hi-hats on there. How did I get here? Let's walk through that step by step. Here we are, deconstructed hi-hat. First, I have the bottom part here that has the tripod on the bottom with the pedal. I'm going to put the rod screwed into that tiny screw in the middle. The rod is what will connect the pedal going all the way to the top where the symbols are. Second, I'm going to put the interior tube in here. I have a memory lock right here, which just keeps a height that I like to set it at when I'm playing. Now that we've got the main hi-hat stand together, we're going to put the cymbals on. So I have my bottom hi-hat cymbal. That's going to go on first. It's going to go on top too of a nice big felt that receives it on top here. Bottom hi-hat. Then, the top hi-hat, here we go. Nothing in there yet. We're going to take our clutch. Now, I have removed one of the felts and the bottom tightening screwed here. So we're gonna talk about this. Most hi-hats come with these two kind of flat disc screws that we see at the top. These will either make your hi-hat cymbals move looser or tighter. The closer they are to the top of the actual clutch, Ah, the looser the symbol will go. The more that we have them cranked down towards the bottom, the tighter it will have on the symbol. Now, we don't want to go too tight, because if we're really pinching down that symbol, we're inhibiting its movement a lot, and we can create a lot of strain right around here on the dome, which can make small cracking happen. So, we want to have it still moving around in there so the symbol can move. Both screws. When tightened together, they kind of lock in place. I then have one mini felt that will go on. Then the symbol itself will go on. The second mini felt. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Joe, wait a minute, I got my drum set used and my hi-hat clutch only has one of these little mini felts. That's okay. You can go to any music store anywhere that has a drum area, drum department, Companies sell replacement felts, washers, screws, anything you're looking for. They're out there, don't worry. Second felt though, on top of that symbol, with the large tightening screw, like so. Our top hi-hat symbol is in place. Felt, symbol, felt, screw. Bam! Right down there, tighten around the rod. Again, we don't have to be cranking down on this stuff. Only go about thumb tight, a little more. If we start digging in, you're gonna start stripping screws or denting up the hardware to where it doesn't work as well. Now we're cooking. Sometimes things can happen when we're playing and we might get something like this. Joe, I'm moving the pedal, nothing's happening anymore. Well. A couple of things can happen when that happens. First thing I always do to look, now I have some practice hi-hats on here which have little holes in them I can see through. Normal situation, I don't have that. Sometimes the tightening screw at the very bottom here can just get so loose it pops off. Then we don't have anything keeping that hi-hat up which makes it move with the rod. So, you get th then if you pull it up by this, you get this action. Just go by the symbol, top symbol. We can lift up like so, voila, there's our problem. Simple as taking the felt and the screw back and just simply re-tightening them to the symbol. Now another thing that we get when, we, when this happens. Joe, I'm moving the pedal, the symbols aren't moving, and now the rod is not really moving. Well, just like we saw before, that rod screws in halfway down the stand. Sometimes that rod just gets loose Tighten that back up, same amount, 
boom, tighten the symbol back to the rod. Now you're back in business again. Now early on I showed you the quick release clutch. It's the exact same thing. Two screws, two felts. The only difference is instead of having to manually tighten this bottom screw, it's got a button there that is just depressed. Boom, in, you're ready to go. A lot of companies make this option now too, which makes packing up or getting ready on the fly a lot easier. Well, I hope you guys got something out of that. I know those are only really two solutions, but those are two easy ones to check out first if our hi-hat first off stops working or we're even just sitting there looking at it and going, how do I put this thing together? It's always better to put it together the right way so that our gear lasts a long time and we're taking care of it the best we can. So good luck. Happy practicing.